Yeremiah Jeremiah 34. The word which came unto El Yeremiah from Yahuwah, when Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, and all his army, and all the kingdoms of the earth of his dominion, and all the people fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities thereof, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, the yellow high of Yashadael, Go and speak to Sidki Yahu, king of Yahuda. Behold, I will give Eth this city into the hand of the king of Babel, and he shall burn it with fire. And you shall not escape out of his hand, but shall surely be taken and delivered into his hand. And your eyes shall behold at the eyes of the king of Babel. And he shall speak with you mouth eth to mouth, and you shall go to Babel. Yet hear the word of Yahuwah, O Sidiq Kiyahu, king of Yahuda. Thus says Yahuwah of you, you shall not die by the sword, but you shall die in peace and with the burnings of your fathers, the former kings which were before you. So shall they burn odors for you, and they will lament you, saying, Ah, Lord, for I have pronounced the word, says Yahuwah. Then Yeremiah the prophet spoke eth all these words unto Sidki Yahu, king of Yahuda in Yerushalayim. When the king of Babel's army fought against Yerushalayim and against all the cities of Yahuda that were left, against Lachish and against Azka, for these defensed cities remained of the cities of Yahuda. This is the word that came unto El Yeremiahu from Yahuwah. After that, the king Sidkiyahu had cut a covenant with Eth all the people which were at Yerushalayim to proclaim liberty unto them, that every man should let Eth his manservant and every man Eth his maidservant, being an Ivri or an Ivriya, go free, that none should serve himself of them, to wit, of a Yahudi, his brother, now when all the princes and all the people which had entered into the covenant heard that everyone should let eth his manservant and everyone eth his maidservant go free, that none should serve themselves of them any more, then they obeyed and let them go. But afterward they turned and caused eth the servants and eth the handmaids whom they had let go free, to return, and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids. Therefore the word of Yahuwah came to El Yeremiahu from Yahuwah, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yashadael, I cut a covenant with Eth your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondmen, saying, at the end of seven years, let ye go every man at his brother an Avri, rather Ivri, which has been sold unto you. And when he has served you six years, you shall let him go free from you. But your fathers hearkened not unto me, neither inclined at their ear. And ye were now turned, and had eth done right in my sight, in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor, and ye had cut a covenant before me in the house, which is called by my name. But ye turned and polluted eth my name, and caused every man eth his servant, and every man eth his handmaid, whom ye had set at liberty at their pleasure, to return, and brought them into subjection, to be unto you for servants and for handmaids. Therefore thus says Yahuwah, Ye have not hearkened unto me in proclaiming liberty, every one to his brother. 
and every man to his neighbor. Behold, I proclaim a liberty for you, says Yahuwah, to the sword, to the pestilence, and to the famine. And I will make you to be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. And I will give eth the men that have transgressed eth my covenant, which have not performed eth the words of the covenant, which they had cut before me, when they cut the calf in two, and passed between the parts thereof. The princes of Yahudah and the princes of Yerushalayim, the eunuchs and the priests, and all the people of the land which, ha- which passed between the parts of the calf. I will even give them into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life, and their dead bodies shall be for meat unto the fowls of the heaven and to the beasts of the earth. And at Sidki Yahu, king of Yahudah, and at his princes will I give into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life and into the hand of the king of Babel's army, which are gone up from you. Behold, I will command, says Yahuwah, and cause them to return to this city, and they shall fight against it, and take it, and burn it with fire. And I will make the cities of Yahudah a desolation without an inhabitant.